Meanwhile, the New South Wales Greens, they were getting right behind the Palestinian protests yesterday. Matt, um, what do you think of that? Well, I think some people are showing their true colours here. Uh, you know, you often, uh, often the Greens present themselves as some warm, cuddly teddy bears. Uh, but here they are uh, lighting up, not condemning uh, uh, some of the most barbaric, violent acts we've seen uh, this century. Uh, I mean, you would hope that all respectable parts of the Australian political spectrum uh, would condemn the conduct we've seen from Hamas, uh, uh, would like to uh, make sure that uh, this can't happen again by taking action against Hamas. But the New South Wales Greens, and I think my, my, pretty much the whole Greens political movement here, is showing, that, showing themselves not, not to be a respectful uh, member of our Australian political debate because this kind of violent con conduct should uh, get no... No succor at all from any political parties. And, uh, but as I say, it just shows the true, true colours of the Greens that they're lining up with this kind of violence. OK. We've got 30 seconds left, Matt, but I do want to uh, ask you uh, an energy question, which is, um, which is usual, but I just want to talk about Boral uh, having to temporarily shut down its cement production to avoid peak electricity prices. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's like a third world country here. Uh, I mean, how is it that our major building products manufacturer can't run... Uh, full shifts because of the uh, power situation. And they say that potentially puts at risk our ability to respond to the housing crisis because they can't make enough bricks and other building products. This is outrageous. Our system's not working. Uh, and the main message from this is renewables do not work. OK, Matt Canavan, good to chat as always. We'll see you soon.